Little Clam by Lynn Reiser. Read to you by Kelsey Bennett. Once there was a little clam who lived in a shell at the edge of the sea. Every day when the tide went out, the little clam pulled in his siphons, squirt, stuck out his foot, squish, and dug deep under the sand, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Then he pulled in his foot, squash, squeezed his shell shut, snap, and waited. When the tide came in, the little clam stretched out his siphons and slept under the sea. Snooze. One day, the tide whispered, Wake up, little clam. I'm going out now. Pull in your long siphons. Stick out your strong foot. Dig, little clam. The little clam was already awake, but he was not listening. He was busy swirling his siphons. Far away, voices were calling. Little clam, little clam, where are you? Where are you, little clam? A blue-eyed scallop flapped by and said, Little clam, listen. The hungry gull is looking for you. The hungry conch is looking for you. The hungry sea star is looking for you. Pull in your long siphons. Stick out your strong foot. Dig, little clam. But the little clam was not listening. He was busy squirming in his shell. Not very far away, the voices were calling. There you are, there you are, there you are, little clam. A sideways crab scuttled by and said, Little clam, listen. The hungry gull and the hungry conch and the hungry sea star are watching you. Pull in your long siphons. Stick out your strong foot. Dig, little clam. But the little clam was busy sifting sand. He was not listening. Not far away at all, voices were calling. Here we are, little clam, and we are very hungry. The little clam had finished swirling and squirming and sifting. Now he was ready to listen. The sideways crab and the blue-eyed scallop were yelling, Listen, little clam, the hungry gull is reaching out its beak for you. The hungry conch is reaching out its foot for you. The hungry sea star is reaching out its arm for you. Pull in your long siphon, stick out your strong foot. Dig, little clam, dig. The little clam just said, oh, thank you for telling me. Then quick, the little clam pulled in his long siphons and squirted the surprised gull. Splat! Stuck out his strong foot and kicked the startled conch. Smack! Pulled his foot in, squeezed his shell shut, and pinched the shocked sea star. Snap! The tide roared. Little clam, I am turning. Little clam, I am coming in. And before the surprised gull and the started, startled conch and the shocked sea star could remember that they were hungry... Uh-oh. The tide crashed in and drenched the gull and flipped the conch and spun the sea star. Then the tide tucked the little clam under the sand and covered him with her waves and whispered, Listen, little clam, go to sleep. Stick out your long siphons. Pull in your strong foot. Sleep, little clam. The hungry gull cannot find you now. The hungry conch cannot watch you now. The hungry sea star cannot reach you now. They are gone, washed ashore by my waves. And the blue-eyed scallop and the sideways crab sang with the tide. Sleep, little clam, sleep. The waves roll high above you. The sand is snug around you. Deep under the sea, Safe under the sand, dream, little clam.
dream. But the little clam was not listening. He was already asleep. Sleep tight, my little clam.